Hey guys, Jay here. So let's continue on to our game plan. Like I mentioned, we're gonna come up with a very rough document. As you can see, this is the do game document that I have put together for the Lost Pendulum, which is the game that we'll be working on together. So let's quickly walk through this. You can follow the same template for your own game. And I'm gonna actually put this as a template down, there, down below, below this video. So you can pretty much replicate it and then change things as you see. Um, fit. So basically, we're going to get started by defining the genre, which is an adventure game. And I've sort of noted down some inspiration for this Uncharted, Tomb Raider. So those are some of the games that I'm emulating some of the mechanics and the environment from, right? So if you have other games that you want to emulate, put them down here. And better yet, if you can add screenshots, like create a little mood board of all the environments that you want to bring to life, that'll be even better, right? So that would be a step further where. You can even create like a Pinterest board with like a ton of screenshots from your favorite games that you want to try and um, gather inspiration from. So that's the first thing uh, that we have done here. The second thing is we have a third person perspective to this game. So I recommend you do the same thing for this course. Um, so there'll be another module in the future for a first person perspective. Uh, but right now for this course, we're going to stick to third person perspective as like our base. And I recommend you do the same so we can keep up and sort of match the course uh, content together, right? So the next thing is basic adventure mechanics. So we've got multi-directional movement for the player. We've got jumping, climbing obstacles, crouch, roll forward, and things like that. You can even take cover as well. So we just noted over here. So we got some action mechanics we can shoot. So I'm going to just work on one pistol for this game as a weapon. But you can, um, after you learn that, you can definitely expand that to have multiple weapons. It's pretty much the same concept. We're going to try and build very reusable scripts that you can apply for any amount of weapons that you want to have or any type of weapon that you want to have, right? So that's the thing that we're going to do here. And then we're going to also add taking cover as sort of a way to, you know, dodge bullets and the enemy's attacks. Um, other than that, the game is also going to have puzzle mechanics as a way to sort of um, add some um, narrative would be the best way to say this. So um, basically the idea for this game is that we play the character of a guy. I, I haven't really thought of a name, to be honest with you. Um, in Uncharted, it's uh, Drake. It's Nathan Drake. Nate, Nate, Nathan Drake. In Tomb Raider, it's Lara Croft. But in Lost Pendulum, I'm yet to come up with a name. Uh, we'll come up with something as we go. Uh, but he's basically a treasure hunter. And then he sort of, there's a narrative in my head, but feel free to change it and then create your own narrative for my game. It's going to be a guy who's looking for a mysterious treasure, a notorious hidden treasure of some sort. And then he's trying to get to it, but then goons, enemies from another party who's a contractor or something is trying to get to it. So a very uncharted kind of storyline. But um, it's only for educational purposes, so we're going to go with that um, narrative. But feel free to change it, like I said. So there's going to be some environment-based puzzles, very similar to Tomb Raider, where like you got to move things around and make sense of the world around you, which is a very fun way to um, build build puzzles, build very engaging puzzles where the player will be sort of forced to look around and use the environment and then understand the environment, how things are placed to get through a puzzle. That's a very exciting puzzle usually. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to build two environment puzzles for this game, an easy one to get started with. Not that easy, but we're going to make it kind of challenging, but easy enough. You can beat it within a couple of minutes if you really think about it. But then we also want a difficult puzzle, which is more complex complex and has a lot of moving parts um literally and not literally so like uh you gotta do a couple of things to qualify to get through that puzzle so it's not going to be like a one-off thing for example like a switch based thing like you got a, a certain place you solve a mini puzzle and then you grab something out of it you go to the second place you kind of place what you just acquired and you get something out of it and then you go to the main puzzle and solve it so some some sort of complex um narrative to this puzzle will be added here, right? So, and then we're gonna also build a map system. So that's gonna be pretty exciting as well. Um, a lot of games have this, where you can open up a map, a dynamic map where you can see where you are, and then you can sort of get a sense of where you wanna go to. And then while you travel this, this place, this dot of yourself on the map will also change. So that sort of thing, you can see that in most games nowadays. So we're gonna build something like that. And then we're going to build a enemy system, which is the uh, AI, like I mentioned earlier, state machine based. Uh, it's going to have these kind of states. 
uh, these combat the state um, stuff like that. We're gonna come up with three D model for it as well. As in, we're gonna find a three D model. We're not gonna design it, but uh, we're gonna bring it to life and then script everything that's necessary to make this enemy work. Right. So this format is pretty high level. So it's gonna give you like a high level overview of what you're building, and it's it's more than enough to get started with the game. So I recommend you do the same thing. And then we're gonna have a simple narrative here. And I've sort of uh, noted down what we're building here. Heavily guarded environment, which means we're gonna have a bunch of enemies. So you kind of have to sort of, you know, not engage in combat and sort of skip through it if they want to. But if they want to engage in con combat, they can do it as well. We're gonna have some voice narrations by yours truly. Uh, I'll be recording some, you know, really bad voice narrations. I'm not a, a voice artist or anything, but um, voice actor, they're called. But uh, we're going to try to do something there, but feel free to do the same. Um, we're doing this simply because this allows us to add audio systems to our game and then um, event-based audio as well, where in certain parts of the game, certain narrative audio clips will be played, so which is really important for most games. We can also have a game menu, and I've noted down the uh, things we're going to have in this menu. We're going to have a new game or a continue if you already have a game. Um, you can have basic options, basic graphic options and things like that. And you can have an exit, right? Other than that, I've noted down some main assets for my game. And these are some asset store links to vegetation, ruins that I want to have in my game. Um, some of the characters that I've uh, sort of shortlisted, things like that. So I will actually link this, but just in case you want to use something else, feel free to do that. But if you want to use the same thing, go ahead. You can do that as well. So that's about it for this video, guys. Um, this is mainly the game plan. So feel free to replicate this format and then build your own um, game plan before you get started. But in the next chapter, we're going to dive straight into Unity and get started. Um, all right. See you then.